much. It's a new day. I'm here in Bangkok. I'm feeling good. I slept, uh, slept quite a bit, like three, three or four hours. Just, I just found out there's, there's a team of 28 people working on this shoot. 28. Gosh, and I'm just used to the little me running around with my tripods. So if you haven't seen part one of my adventure in Thailand, I'm a travel filmmaker and I'm in a different country every month filming with my cameras and my drone. And DJI, the company that makes my drone, brought me out here to make a video about me which is going to be epic. And we're filming in Bangkok and down on the islands. The jet lag is really hitting me now. I can feel this like sort of, even my, my, my face is like twitching a little bit, you know, that you get from <laughs> lack of sleep. But I go to uh, go to this fitting so that we can work out uh, what I'm going to wear for the scenes in uh, down in the islands in Krabi. After my fitting, I have a few hours free, which rarely happens on a shoot. So I decide to head out without a phone or a map. I feel like we often become so fixated on researching things on websites before or while we're out traveling that we sometimes miss just exploring with no plan, no trip advisor review, no recommendation from friends, just letting our senses guide us, letting ourselves be surprised. I hope I know where I'm going. I just. I think I know where I'm going. When was the last time you went out alone into a foreign speaking city with no phone data to Google where you are or where to go, no one to meet, just exploring based purely on your instincts? It's, um, it's crazy because uh, no one knows where I am and I have no plans tonight, no one to meet and it's kind of like thrilling, scary, liberating, all these things at once. Have you ever like, you know when you're in a foreign country by yourself and you have no schedule, it's quite, it's quite surreal. did something last night that maybe was kind of a bit crazy. No, I didn't go out and get drunk in a bar in Bangkok. I didn't go out and shop for designer rip-off clothes. I went to MBK, which is a technology Disneyland. Apologies if you're not into cameras, this will be really boring for you, but my GH4s, uh, my cameras, have just not been switching on and it kind of freaks me out. It's just crazy. I don't know what's gone wrong with the GH4s. I love them. I got two of them. I love them so much, but... So, I'm very excited. Let me show you why. Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> Look at it. Look at it, flip screen, woo, shoots in 4K. Look how tiny it is, look how light. Oh yes, yes, we are gonna be great friends. Zeiss lens, ah. Tracking so that I'm always in focus. You see, if we were shooting with the Sony, I could be doing this and I would always be in focus. I'm excited, so excited to shoot. I went out last night and it was just, ah, so much you know, lights and noise and movement and people and just, this city is buzzing, I love it, I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm a little bit excited about the Sony camera. Oh, I love you. <laughs> 6.30 a.m. call time, but I got up at 4.30 because the vlog wasn't uploading and uh, finally it's up, finally it's up. Oh, good morning. <laughs> morning. The DJI team are this bunch of super international, talented young people all living in China. How do you, how do you pronounce your name today? Haisa. Haisa. You know when you meet someone, but before you meet them, you kind of like stalk their life on Instagram and then you fall in love with them? This is what happened with this girl here. Hi. <laughs> so much so that it was really awkward because like when we met yesterday, I went to meet her. She's like, hi. And I just had to hug her because I feel like I knew you. <laughs> Yeah, love at first sight, or yeah. at first like on Instagram. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and just let me get this right. So you're Brazilian? Yeah. But you live in? The US for quite some time. It's been about eight years in the US. Mm -hmm. And then 
then also lived in Argentina and Colombia before that. It's crazy. So. Her, her life is so inspiring, so I'll tell you about it later when we're a little bit less tired. <laughs> <laughs> if that's gonna, ever gonna happen. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> shoot uh, we're doing all these super cool overhead shots so I'm quite excited because I don't, my face doesn't have to be on camera it's just my hands <laughs> Put in the whole floor. Yeah. Like I was like, how are they going to recreate Paris? Oh, oh yeah, they just amazing. they just bring in like a Parisian yeah. pavement. These guys are the best. Holding with your left hand, yeah. and you're pointing at like where you want to go. So okay. you see your finger, index finger. Yeah. So there's a little problem with my my veins, my veins popping up. You know, that's what happens when you work with a junkie. They need to get a stand for my. So I risk to do the one without the croissant. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so the first part is down and now it's kimono yukata time. Just studying how to pour tea to get the wrist action right. Thank you, thank you. We're in Thailand and look, look, oh, I can't wait. Papaya salad, mint, coriander. I, I don't want to tell anyone, but it's too spicy. I can't eat any of this. I don't want to be rude and say, like, I can't eat this. If I was in any other country ordering Thai food, I would order it hot, but this is. This is too hot for me. I can't. My eyes are watering. <sighs> oh well. There's a. I can eat this. Action. <laughs> That's just my bedroom over there. Yeah. <laughs> ultimate challenge which is cuter the baby or the dog <laughs> I have to go to the recording studio to do the voiceover I just got given the script and then tomorrow we're flying out of Bangkok and heading off to the islands can you hear me it's a bit noisy huh anyway I'm excited okay that's a wrap now we're off to the recording studio to do the voiceover But you know that I don't actually walk out, right? Like I have to always come back for the camera. <laughs> I feel like in another life, if I was a Thai pop star, uh -huh. this is where I'd be. <laughs> Let me hear your best Kylie voiceover impression. Because uh -huh. you sounded pretty good before. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Kylie. I'm Kylie. <laughs> really? That's so wrong that's, for me to imitate your voice. No, no, no. I like yeah. it. It's funny because you know it's like in uh, in Latin America when they dubbed one of my TV shows. Uh -huh. I think they chose like a 12 year old girl for my voice. Oh. So I'm like, hola. <laughs> like, hi, I'm Kylie. You wanna hear Thai versions of me? Kylie, <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> Hey, I'm Kylie, and as a filmmaker, I've traveled the world. Is that, you want more energy, Paul? What do you think about putting the emphasis on adventure? Because I'm imagining like that's going to be the big drawing back drone shot, right? So I try to up the epic factor <laughs> at the end. <laughs> that's why no adventure is complete without my Mavic. A lot of like young people out there would love to have a job traveling the world making epic 
films like you. What's your advice for like young filmmakers who, who want to end up as a, as a director? Work hard? Uh, well, that's, that's stupid advice. Everyone, <laughs> everyone works hard, right? No, I think, no, I think some people expect it to come, come it, things to come to them overnight, yeah, no? It's all, well, no, it's all about taking risks, moving to places where there's, there's work, uh, where economies are growing. I've worked in LA, I've worked in China, I've worked in Thailand, I've worked in Vietnam. Uh, don't, don't miss any opportunities. Like, it's just laying ahead, always. So if someone, if someone could go to film school or just do some kind of internship, like shadow one of you guys, for example, which, which do you think would be better? Or film, film school, the only thing film school is good for is meeting people and networking. Really? <laughs> Don't waste your money on it. Really? Oh yeah, absolutely. Huh. But but it's. I went to film school. We all do. And so that's finally a wrap on the whole day. And look at this view. Look at this city, huh? It's just incredible. I'm lying on the rooftop on a golf course. Completely exhausted, completely happy. <laughs> it's a crazy life. Good night. See you tomorrow for Valentine's Day and flying to Krabi.